Hello, people. I have to confess, yes, I was a Cars nut. And finding out earlier this week that Rick Ocasek had died, mm, it hit me right here, right, right in the heart of fandom. It really did. And wow, didn't everybody have this album back in 1978 where just about every song made the airwaves? It was on the Billboard charts for like 138 weeks. If, if you didn't buy it, it was probably in your mailbox. It was issued to everyone. Wow, th this was a fantastic album. And it just went on from there. The next year we had Candio with more hit songs like Let's Go. Panorama, I don't remember it doing very well around here. I don't recall it getting much airplay, but it was at the time of this album that I actually went to go see them in concert. That'd be around 1980. And really, when they came on stage, all they did was just stand there and play the songs. There was no audience interaction at all. They just played their songs, and that was it. Shake It Up came next with its epitomous theme song, title song. They were on a roll. And then this one came along, their most commercially successful album with that super hit song, Drive. I'm sure you all remember that. Door to Door came next. Yes, I bought them all. Benjamin Orr died in 2000. Eleven years later, the cars come back with Move Like This. Hmm. I even bought the Cars Anthology because I had the original albums on vinyl and when I switched everything to CD, there were a lot of B-sides that hadn't been put on CD, so this took care of everything. This was like all the hits, all the B-sides, some demos. Good stuff, good stuff. So anyway, yes, Rick Ocasek has passed on. He and Ben Orr are up there making fabulous music, I'm sure. But it just seems like this retrospective wouldn't be complete without me going through my top 10 Cars songs. So, let's begin with number 10 with a song from Panorama. All right, number nine comes from the Shake It Up album. You come tonight, cause you're the cruiser, and you never get enough. On we go to number eight, where we have a song from Candy O. Alright, number seven. Back to Shake It Up. Here we are at number six. Shake It Up again. Number six. Shake It Up. Shake It Up. Okay, kids, we're into the top five, and number five is from Heartbeat City. Now we're at number four. Off to that first album. Here we go. Don't you stop, don't you stop, don't you stop, don't you stop. Number three is that song with that really wild video that was nominated for so many awards, I think it may have even won a couple. Number three is from Heartbeat City. You might think I'm crazy. All I want, all I want is you. My second favorite song is from way back in that first album from 1978. I'm sure you all remember this one. Girl. 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 And 
and my most favorite car song, even though it was on the anthology, showed up for the first time on the car's greatest hits. Now, that was strange because I'm not done yet. Get back here. Thank you. Back then, the record companies were putting out greatest hits with a song that had never been released before, but they thought it must be a greatest hit anyway. They did the same thing with Tom Petty's greatest hits album, and they put on Last Dance with Mary Jane, even though it wasn't really a hit, but record companies said so. So, even though the record company said it was a hit, it was a hit with me. It's my number one favorite car song. Okay, that's my retrospective on the car's history and a bit of a memorial to Rick Ocasek. And let's not forget Ben Orr too. And just for the record, I have all their songs put on MP3 on a disc, so I can put this in, in the car and have all cars all the time. Good stuff. The cars will never die. It's They were an amazing band. And hope you enjoyed seeing what my top 10 cars songs were. And everyone, drive on. <laughs>